All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through setting up a uh, network storage mount for your Raspberry Pi DAC and your Volumio setup. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is log into the Raspberry Pi DAC and Volumio setup itself. Um, I'm going to go to the top right corner. You're going to see the settings here, and I'm going to go to library. And you see it says NAS mounts, um, add new mount. So if you look at here, you have some options. Um, the, the biggest thing that people get wrong is this remote directory. If that's not 100% right, it will not work. So what you need to do is take your shared folder um, and figure out the exact remote directory to that. So on this computer, I have a folder shared. And the way I'm going to get the exact uh, directory is I'm going to open up an Internet Explorer browser window. And I'm going to do... two slashes and then the computer that I'm trying to get the network storage off of has the IP address 192.168.183. So I'm going to open that up and you can see here, here's my shared folders as it's seen from someone on the network. I'm going to go to the exact folder I'm looking for, which is I'm just going to do sample music here. So I'm going to right click on that and go down to properties and you're going to see here that has a location and what you want to do is select up to so see here you have the IP address you want to select everything after the slash following that so I'm not going to select that slash after the 83 but I'm going to select everything else I'm going to copy that then I'm going to go back to my Volumio I'm going to paste that in I'm going to go above here I'm going to type in the IP address of that computer I'm going to keep it on SMB CIFS. I'm just going to call this NAS1. You can name it whatever you want. Um, I don't have this password protected, so I don't have to worry about that. And then I'm going to click Save Mount. Now we're just waiting for it to load here. And you can see here that that green check mark there means that that mount went through OK. Um, so if I go here to browse, I can actually click on here that that's there and I can access it. So you can put, you know, whatever music files you want from any computer on here. Um, let's go back to the screen here real quick. Some, some issues I had in the past when I tried to add mounts was, so I'm just going to go to this one here. If you don't get this remote directory, perfect. If you leave a slash, an extra character, whatever, you'll get all kinds of errors. It'll say login errors, things like that. So you just want to make sure you get that perfect. And the way I normally do it is just by logging in through an IE window and making sure I copy and paste that. 